What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Talking Ball. I'm your host, Seth, and this is your home for college sports. Let's get right into it. Well, it is almost SEC Media Days. We They start tomorrow, I believe. Let's see here. Missouri. Who else is in it? We'll find out in a second. Missouri. Day one is LSU, Missouri, A&M. So tomorrow, Brian Kelly, Eli Drinkwitz, and Jimbo Fisher uh, to start us off tomorrow on day one of SEC Media Days. And day two will be Auburn, Georgia, Mississippi State, and Vanderbilt. So... Should be fun. I'm excited for football season. I am ready to go. Today's episode is going to be over Texas A&M. I haven't went over Texas A&M and Jimbo Fisher, but th- th- he's going to be, Jimbo's going to be in uh, down in uh, Nashville, Tennessee this year for the SEC Media Days. So uh, we'll look at the Texas A&M Aggies schedule for 2020. Three. Last year they were five and seven. They were ranked eighth in the SEC, two and six, tied for sixth in the West. They beat Sam Houston State to open the season up last year. Failed at Appalachian State. Remember that was a big. Uh, A and M was ranked one of the top teams last year. Uh, in the country, I think top five, I believe they were top five. And they lost to Appalachian State, um, not f- 17 to 14. Then they uh, fall, or they beat Miami. Yeah, they beat Miami 17 to 9. Beat Arkansas 23 to 21. Probably should have lost that game. But they won by two. Over Arkansas. Then they lost to Mississippi State 42-24. to They also lost to Alabama at Alabama. A close game. 24-20. to Lost at South Carolina. 30-24. to Lost against Ole Miss. Lost against Florida. Lost against Auburn. Yeah, that was pretty bad if you lost to Auburn last year. Beat Massachusetts and beat LSU uh, to round up the game. They're always they always seem LSU and Alabama. They always play really hard against and do pretty good against those teams. This year they start off the season September second against New Mexico, and that game I have them winning. That game. I think everybody should have them winning over New Mexico. And then they play at Miami. Now, last year they beat them 17-9. It was a pretty close game, which they they pulled it out. This year it's at Miami, and that's, that'll be big. I think they fall that game. The next week, ULM, I see a victory. September 16th, they beat ULM, Louisiana Monroe. They play Auburn on September 23rd. I have them winning over Auburn and Hugh Freeze. Hugh Freeze first season. Now you got to remember with Texas A&M. Bobby Petrino is the offense coordinator. DJ Durkin is the defense coordinator still. Uh, Connor Wegman, a five-star quarterback, is their quarterback uh, or should be their starting quarterback this year. Um, they do have Anaya Smith returning as their top wide receiver. So, uh, but we are at September 30th versus Arkansas in Arlington, Tennessee. Jerry's World, as everyone likes to call it. Uh, September 30th, Texas A&M, Bobby Petrino used to coach Arkansas before the motorcycle accident. And I think Arkansas gets the victory. I think uh, uh, Arkansas 
will revenge the loss from last year. It was a two-point loss, disappointing uh, loss for the Razorbacks. But I think A&M loses to Arkansas September 30th. Then October 7th, they're going to play Alabama. This is probably the rough stretch of the season. They got Arkansas, Alabama, Tennessee. I think they lose three games in a row, Arkansas, Alabama, and Tennessee. I think A&M falls three games in a row, and it's looking a little wobbly down in College Station. But they play South Carolina at home. I think they get a victory there. They go at Ole Miss in Oxford against Lane Kiffin. I think they'll win that game. And they'll play Mississippi State at home, and I think they win that one also. Now, the next week, they play Abilene Christian. So, four games in a row, they win to finish the season. So, then they play to finish off the season um, at LSU. And I think they followed that game. I think the season breakdown would be 7-5. and five. That is my prediction on the Texas A&M Aggies this year and Bobby Petrino. But you never know. If they uh, win at Miami, they could easily win eight games and then beat Arkansas. Uh, play, they play Alabama at home this year. So uh, Bobby Petrino, if, if they play, if Connor Wegman... Uh, shows his five star ability, then and Anaya Smith stays healthy. I can see A and M winning nine games, possibly. But I, I, who knows? Who knows? Nine wins would be pr- look pretty good. But for Jimbo Fisher, especially on a year where he needs to do good, let's be honest. I mean, the Aggies ain't aren't paying him that much money just so he can go seven and five. Or nine and three, honestly. That they expect a championship. That's why they brought him to College Station for a championship, and it's starting to look wobbly. It, I don't see him firing them after this season. But who knows? If it goes bad like it did last year, they possibly will fire him, and they got paid the seventy over seventy five million dollars buyout. Um, but other than that, uh. I don't see them firing them after this year. Now next year, if it still keeps, if if they go seven and five this year, you'll want a lot of heat to get rid of them, honestly. But if they go nine and three this year, I think you keep them again. And now this isn't counting the bowl games, so um, they could win their bowl game, you know, if they play in it, but. Uh, I, it's going to be tough for Bobby Trino, I'll, I'll be honest. His first season setting his uh, offense, his pro-style uh, offense, he likes to run the ball. He'll use the run. Uh, everybody thinks he'll he's just a passing, but he will use the run. He likes to run the ball. A big, big running backs. Um, he likes big guys. Uh so, last year they ranked a hundredth in scoring offense, rushing seventy ninth. They were ranked seventy ninth. So, but you you know one thing with Texas A&M, their defense is going to be solid. Uh, they were solid last year. It's just the offense; they couldn't get the offense going. If they if they have some offense with Bobby Trino this year, they might. Be pretty good this year, but like I said, seven and five is my uh, what I'm setting. Um, takes A and M at he. I mean, Jimbo, he's been head coach for 13 years. He's 122 and 44. I mean, that's pretty good. At A and M, he's 39 and 21. He's been there five years, so this is year six. For Jimbo to get it done. Will he get it done? Ah, uh, This year. Th- this year's going to be pretty tough. Because like I said. You got Auburn. Arkansas. 
Alabama, Tennessee, which you got South Carolina, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, too. Then you got Abilene Christian, and then at LSU. I mean, and Miami. So you got your 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 guaranteed wins probably New Mexico, ULM, and Abilene Christian. Those are your three guaranteed wins if you're Texas A&M. Now at Tennessee, that that that'll be rough. It will uh, be interesting to see. Um, with Tennessee, their quarterback, um, Milton, Joe, Joe Milton, how he does this year at Tennessee, but, um, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see on that game. That, that'll be an interesting game, which you got, I mean, all these, Arkansas, Alabama, Tennessee, that is the make or break, uh, those are the make or break games for Texas A&M this year. Which they beat Arkansas quite a bit. They only lost one in 10, 10, 11 years, something like that. Only lost one time to Arkansas. So they need to win that game. But Arkansas, I wouldn't sleep on Arkansas either. Um, they're, they're a team uh, under the radar, I will say that. They bring KJ Jefferson, Rocket Sanders. So, But. Y- with and the whole Bobby Petrino Arkansas, that's why it's I consider that a big game. And will A and L be ready? Because I mean Bobby Petrino is going to want to win this game against his old team Arkansas. Like he played them with Missouri State last year, almost beat them last year. So Bobby Petrino is going to want to beat Arkansas. You know Arkansas. He when he was at which he embarrassed himself at Arkansas. It wasn't Arkansas's fault that uh, what happened, you know. But uh, that that still rings as a coach, as a competitor. You want to take out the team that embarrassed you, even though you're the reason you embarrassed yourself. Uh, but uh, that sh- that'll be a big game. It'll have a lot of. Uh, Coverage, I believe, or it should. I mean, uh, KJ he fumbles at the goal line last year. That Arkansas was winning. They they looked like they were going to win the game, and then he fumbles and ain't lets A and M back in the game. And then the second half, A and M pulled out the victory over Arkansas. Uh, Miss Phil go, you know, things like that. Uh, so Arkansas will be ready, I figure. A and M, they'll be ready, you know, with Bobby Petrino and all that. So, it should be an interest. Then Alabama, you know, that's going to be a talked about game. So Alabama, you know, who's their quarterback going to be? They, 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 they're one of the better teams. You got Jalen Milrow as the quarterback for Alabama. Uh, maybe, possibly, they did get a um, transfer from. Uh, Notre Dame, so so we'll have to see uh, how that game. Uh, Alabama's one of my top teams that, to make the playoffs uh, right now. I, I'm leaning Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Texas. Those are my four teams in the playoff right now. Like I said, right now. I mean, it's still early. Like, who? You can't. It, I mean, this is why we love college football. Because you can predict. You can say anything. And pretty much, you know, I mean, nobody knows what's going to happen. How many, who's going to get hurt? I mean, you, you can guarantee you Georgia, Alabama is going to be good. Ohio State's going to be pretty good no matter what, you know. Uh, but will will the Alabama's quarterback play? Um, will LSU beat Alabama? You know, that's going to be the big game, LSU Alabama. I think if LSU um, beats Florida State in the first game, so, so down in Orlando, that's going to be a fun one. 
And like I said, the season starts in 41 days. I'm ready for college football. I think most people are ready for college football. Not just the food either. Everybody's ready to get strapped in, get the helmets on, and and hit somebody. Uh, I know I'll run through a wall right now. I'm getting pumped up, goosebumps all over my arms. I think that's the way most fans are. I, I watch NFL games get ready for college football season. I, I love college football. It's most exciting for me, but I, I'll watch NFL because those players were in college at one time, you know? So, uh, I think for Texas A&M, though, well, I'll get back on Texas A&M. Texas A&M, 7-5, uh, and five, with which a chance to win nine games, but I, I'm setting seven and five. That's better than last year. Last year they were five and seven. I I think the Aggies are going to be hard on Coach Jimbo this year, but I don't see them firing Jimbo this year. Possibly next year, but I I don't see them this year. Not this year, but next year I I possibly you know, but will will they fire Jimbo because? Texas is coming into the league, you know? Texas is going to be in the SEC. Will they, you know, will, will they try to get a big big name coach again? Which they tried with Jimbo. He was at Florida State. Won a national championship at Florida State. And here we, here we are. Um, he's only 39-21 in five years. Which he did... You know, he beat Alabama. You know, he's done everything except, you know, make the playoff. He almost made the playoff. They almost, they were right outside. They might have, should have been in, you know, honestly. Uh, But this year, or last year, they had a rough year. They should be better this year. It'll depend on how they take that um, three-game stretch with Arkansas, Alabama, in Tennessee. Those are the big games for A&M coming up and Bobby Petrino and, and Jimbo Fisher, you know, just try to save his job, uh, which they haven't won a, a league t- uh, conference championship since they were in the Big 12 in 1998. Uh, so, which they have a lot of guys coming back and a lot of really talented players and with Bobby Trino, you know, if they gel, though, you you know, don't don't let Jimbo get so. Uh, he likes to talk fast, and it, I, I a lot of people think it's not gonna work. You know, it it may not work, but I think I think it could. I mean, this Bobby Trino, it's not his first time being an offense coordinator, uh, especially in the SEC. So he, he he'll be able to work around, you know, uh, another coach. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, though. At Texas A&M, I'm ready for football. I know a lo- all the Aggie fans are ready to see how this team performs. I think Bobby Petrino got a lot of people. Either you love him or you 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 hate his guts. So uh, that's that's a lot of guys. You either love them or you hate them, and. And we'll see how Bobby Trino does. I, I think they'll be, be better on offense. Ain't them. It was c- got to be pretty bad or hard to be as bad as they were on offense last year. Uh, but their defense is the strength of the team. I think. I think. I think that'll be um, there as well with Eli Robinson and Terry Price. So they they have a lot of really uh good assistants on the on the A and M defense that'll help them uh succeed this year on the defensive side of the ball. Now that's that's the end of this episode of Texas A and M uh prediction for twenty twenty three. Uh seven and five is my prediction. I think uh, they obviously go to a bowl game. That may not be as many wins as A and M uh, fans uh, will like, but uh, that's my prediction. So come at me with the hate if you want to. It, it don't matter. That's why we have 
pre that's why it's talking season cuz you never know what's going to happen during the season. You can predict uh A&M's going to win the national championship, which they could. You never know and I mean they might. I mean so we'll have to see though this season watching college football cuz I'm ready for it. So we'll we'll see you next time. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me um on Spotify, give me a five-star rating on Spotify. I'm on Spotify. And also on Twitter at, at uh, TalkingBall05. So uh, g- we'll see you next time. And thanks for listening in to this episode of Talking Ball. <laughs>